Buenos días, niños. ¿Cómo amanecieron? ¿Cómo están todos? Muy bien. Vamos a repasar nuestro mes de mayo. Now we're going to go over the month of May. Ok, estamos en el mes de mayo, en la época de primavera. ¿Cuántos días tenemos en la semana? How many days do we have in the week? Vamos a contar. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis y siete. Siete días en la semana. ¿Cuáles son los días de la semana? What are the days of the week? <coughs> Ok, let's say them together. Vamos a decirlo junto. Domingo, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes y sábado. Muy bien. Ahora vamos a contar cuántos días tenemos en el mes de mayo. Now let's count how many days we have in the month of May so far. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 y 19. Muy bien. Ayer era lunes y hoy es martes y mañana es miércoles. Vamos a decir la fecha juntos. Hoy es martes 19 de mayo de 2020. Ahora vamos a repasar las palabras de la semana. Now we're going to go over the words of the week. Okay, let's get started with our day. So we're going to go over some of the words that, some of the animals that live in the ocean. These are some of the ones that I drew. Um... So let's go over the words. Vamos a repasar las palabras y, y unos animales que viven en el mar. So school of fish means a group of fish. And um, in Spanish you say escuela de pescado. School of fish in English and in Spanish you say escuela de pescado. Stingray in English and Spanish you say mata raya. Octopus in English, in Spanish, you say pulpo. Seahorse in English, in Spanish, you say caballo de mar. Starfish in English, in Spanish, you say estrella de mar. Crab in English, in Spanish, you say cangrejo. Shark in English, in Spanish, you say tiburón. So let's go over it one more time. School of fish in English. In Spanish, you say escuela, escuela de pescado. Stingray. Mantarraya. Octopus. Pulpo. Seahorse. Caballo de mar. Starfish. Estrella de mar. Crab. Cangrejo. And shark. Tiburón. Okay, guys, so that was all for right now. Now we're going to go over in, um, a work activity. Okay, guys, so this says subtraction practice. So for this, you're going to need, I only printed out two papers. So one looks like this, and the, and the first one looks like this. Tomorrow we'll work on two more pages. So you're going to need a pencil and your two papers. And the very top, I want you to write your name. So I wrote mine. Okay, so let's get started. The first one says, five take away zero equals, they didn't give us the answer, so let's see how many fishes they gave us. We have one, two, three, four, five. Five fishes. If I take away none, if I take away... <coughs> None of the fishes, how many does, how many do I still have? Five, you're right. So let's move on to the next one. It says five, take away two. They didn't give us the answer, so let's go ahead and do that. 
you have how many fish, how, how many dolphins? One, two, three, four, five. And I take away two, so I'm gonna put a dash through here and a dash through here. How many do I have left? One, two, three. You're right, so we're gonna circle the number three and we're gonna practice writing it. So we're gonna put the number three here. Ah. Let's go ahead and write the number five up here. Should have done that before. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, so now we have five take away four equals, they didn't give us the answer, so let's go ahead and count how many crabs we have. So one, two, three, four, five, five crabs, and we're gonna take away four. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put a dash through it, one, two, three, four. How many do we have left? If they took four away, how many do we have left? One. Let's go ahead and circle our number one. And let's write it in the top. Okay, we're moving on to our next square. So it's five take away one equals they didn't give us the answer, so let's go ahead and count how many crabs we have. One, two, three, four, five. And they took away one, right? So I'm gonna put a dash through here. How many do I have left? One, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and circle our number four and put the four in the top. Remember, a four is like an L and a line right behind it. Okay, <clears throat> let's move on to the next square. So you have five, take away three. So let's count how many jellyfish did they give us? One, two, three, four, five. And then they're gonna take away three. So I'm gonna put a line through it. One, two, how many do we have left? One, two. Let's go ahead and circle our number two. And then we're gonna write it up here. So five take away three equals two. Okay, so now we have five take away five equals, we don't know the answer yet, so let's go ahead and count. One, two, three, four, five. Five octopuses. So let's see if I take away five, how many we have left? Remember, I'm doing a dash, so you know that it took it away. If I took all of them away, how many do you have left? None, you won't have any left because I took them all. Let's go ahead and write our zero. Good job, boys and girls. Okay, let's move on to our next page. So we have four take away zero. So let's count how many do we have? One, two, three, four. And if I take away none, how many do you still have? One, two, three, four. You still have four. Let's go ahead and circle the number four. Then we're gonna write it here in the top. Okay, now let's move on. Two, four, take away two equals, we don't have the answer yet. So let's count how many sharks you have. One, two, three, four. And if I take away two, how many do I have left? One, two, you're right. So let's go ahead and circle the number two, and then we're gonna practice writing it up here. Remember, our two usually looks like a Z. So if you know how to write a Z, you kinda know how to write a two. Okay, so let's go ahead to the next box. We have four, take away four, equals, they didn't give us the answer, so we're gonna count how many starfish we have. One, two, three, four. Now if they take all of our starfish, 
let's see, one, two, three, four. And if they take all of our starfish, how many do we have for ourselves? None, you're right, we have no starfish for ourselves. Okay, let's move on to this next page. We have four, take away one. They didn't give us the answer, so let's go ahead and count how many seahorses we have. One, two, three, four. Four, and we take away one, how many do we have left? Let's go ahead and count again. One, two, three. So let's go ahead and circle our three and write it here in the top. There we go. Good job, guys. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Four, take away three equals, we don't know the answer yet, so let's go ahead and count how many, mm, those looks like squids, how many squids we have. So one, two, three, four, and they want us to take away three. Let's go ahead and put a line through it. One, two, three, how many do we have left? One, you're right. So let's go ahead and circle number one. And let's write it here in, the, in our answer. Okay, guys, now we're doing our last one. It's three take away zero equals. So let's count how many sea turtles we have. One, two, three. And they want us to take away zero. So we didn't take, by by it being zero, we don't take any of them away, right? Because I don't, I don't need any, so we don't take any of them away. So what would be our answer? How many turtles will you have? Still three. Good job. So let's count again. One, two, three. You still have three turtles. Let's go ahead and circle our number three. And write it here in the top. Okay, good job, boys and girls. So that's our activity for today. And tomorrow we will work on the next two subtraction subtraction pages. And the day after, we'll just go over some addition problems. Okay, see you tomorrow.